from how from what they did in that game against Mainz the last of the Bundesliga season to now making the Champions League final is freaking insane. There are many narratives here. And I pick out... Is that, there's okay, let me tell you all the narratives. Michael Ruiz's narrative now. I didn't know this. This is going to be... Michael Ruiz's final game for Dortmund is going to be the UCL final. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. So the potential to win a UCL in your final game for Dortmund is insane. I feel that Hummels is on a redemption arc. Because I clowned him. I called him a bomb. And this guy was the best... And player in this entire side with superb defensive performance. United are getting packed up by a palace built of crystals. <laughs> While your boy Jaden Sancho is about to play a Champions League final at Wembley. Lord only knows what my Goldbridge might, my, my Goldbridge might levitate. Bro, like my, my, my Goldrich, he might my Goldrich might, might, might he might change races. He, he might, might change his ethnicity live on air if Sancho lifts up that African UCL trophy, man. And United gets beat 9 0 at, at in the Cup by Man, man City with a six piece by Howard. Hopefully that happens to Brent. Hopefully that happens so, to Brent. So but for me, I feel that let's be real, guys. Let's keep it a stack. This the, the the people will be supporting Dortmund. Now, if you're a real fan, fine. But people Non-real fans, non band fans, you'll be supporting Dortmund. Because based on where Dortmund came from, based on how no one thought they'll make it through the group, based on how we all collectively, rightfully so, clowned them at the end of the Bundesliga last season, what a journey. Basically, think about it. From how, from what they did in that game against Mainz last of the Bundesliga season to now making the Champions League final is freaking insane. For me, this is already a success, but my gosh, if this guy's completed, and also, again, shout out to Elijah, if your boy Terzic goes from this to lifting up a UCL trophy, bro, this is this is a freaking documentary. This is a Netflix doc, if they manage to, to do this. But, Mike, talk to me, bro. Talk to me about just the, the Dustbund narrative and just one of the great redemption. And also, sorry, from a wing to a UCL final, talk to me about this Dustbund redemption act, Mike. Well, uh, first off, I'm not going to talk about the Paul George of football, a.k.a. Kylian Mbappe. Because oh, wow. if I do, I will cook out for an hour. So let's give some praise to Dortmund. Because everybody on this panel, and including myself, we all thought they were going to go out of the group stage. Yes. Like, like yes. come on, we can't deny that. Everybody thought they were going out of the group stage. Because we all got the image of N the last Nami, season. Nami, they, Nami, Nami. No, no, no. When they, I'm not taking when, that. I can't take that. I said they, I said they get out. I'm not taking all right, that. Okay, cool, cool. When they, when, they, when they bottled it to Mainz and, oh, they should have won the Bundesliga, then Bellingham leaves, and then you think to yourself, what on earth are they going to do? Then they buy some bums, Ben Sabani and Felix and Macha, and you're like, Dortmund are not going anywhere this season. Terzic is basically the Frank Lampard of Germany. They got no tactical setup. And what the hell did they... they I, you know what, HH? This is funny. It kind of reminds me of your club, your beloved Chelsea, West London Cowboys. This is similar to 2012 Champions League. We can't deny that. It's very similar. A chaotic season, not really going their way, and now they're somehow in a Champions League final. Like this is uh, this is unreal. Like this is the side that everybody clowns, and all of you, HH, all of you before the semifinals began said, "Almost, oh, oh, this guy's a brick. He's not that good." If you've watched him in the Champions League this season, he has been the best defender. This is him and Rudiger have been the best defenders. So, 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 I, so I, I think you, you, you sell tax for Hummels. Then he raises his yeah, game. Yeah. No, no, no. Like you sell tax, he definitely raises. In Bundesliga, yeah, the guy has been terrible. Him and Schlotterbeck have been terrible. In the Champions League, these guys are stepping up. Like we cannot deny that. So they deserve their praise. And if Jaden Sancho. After what I saw on Monday from Manchester United, should have lost seven 0 <laughs> to Crystal Palace. If they, if he somehow wins the Champions League, oh, he's going back to Carrington and he's leaving that place ASAP with a medal. He's just going to show it to Ten Hag and he's going to leave Ace. Oh, but for he, sure. This is not a prime Dortmund. Side. Like we're talking about Julian Br Emery Chan. Emery Chan is going to play the Champions League final. <laughs> what are we? Rice. No, no, I don't know, like, bro. Emery Chan lifting up a UCL trophy is crazy. 
No, it's, that's actually crazy. That's I never I'm had on my bingo card. That's that, that would be insane. Don't forget Daniel Mallon. Daniel Marlin, full crook, shout out to Nicholas. So, oh, 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 so, 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 so Mike, let me ask you, Scott, I've already put up something in the poll. If it is, because my prediction was Real Dortmund, that was my prediction. If it is Real Madrid, do they have a chance? Be, 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 because, be, so, so, Mike, so before I answer, here's my thing. If, let's say, I was a script writer, right, so do you know what my script would be? Dortmund beats Real in the UCL final. That is the perfect script. Yeah. Because everything that's real, don't no, bother oh, no, no, watching. No, HH, HH, no. It's about getting revenge. Revenge 2013 at the same stadium. It happened in Wembley. That's a, yeah, that's a good story. Yeah, it's a good story. Yeah. Bayern. I, I, this is crazy. If it is going to be a Dortmund Bayern final after all of the shit that the Bundesliga has gotten, and no, no, that's not true. That would be hilarious. No, that would be, be hilarious. hilarious. No, no, actually, no, 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 no. Do you know what would be, would be crazy? If Leverkusen win the Europa League and it's a Dortmund ban final, now that <laughs> that would be crazy. And also, do you know what's so crazy? It was, it was, it was. I think, I think, almost put up that tweet. You know, shout out to my fellow farmers. Yeah, what else, my fellow yeah, farmers? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, but look, this is on. They, look, they got lucky today. I mean, I mean, what else? HH, I was talking about Matson. Like, if your Chelsea boy wins a Champions oh, League, oh my! No, 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 no. That would be effed up. If Madsen wins a UCL after his dad has dropped a freaking meet the Grims, they're not like us mixtape on the freaking club. That would after be his dad. Dad. After his dad. Oh, no, 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 dude, but, yeah. So she did yeah, say his dad, dad said he's saying. he doesn't want to sign for Chelsea, he wants to sign for Dorman now. Oh and, 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 and he basically said like about how like um ever since the change of ownership, the club isn't the same anymore. Yeah. That's a surprise well, me, HH. Your, your club is a disaster. He's a smart guy. Nah, Madsen's a smart guy. He's a Dutch it's guy. so funny how the Madsen narrative of the Bundesliga has changed in one season. One season, HH. It's only taken one crazy. season, and now everybody is starting to respect it. And if Dortmund, who have been, I, Hokage knows, in the Bundesliga, these guys have been bums. These guys have been bums. No, no, but, but, just... but, 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 you know what, sorry, I, but, you know what, it's, it's like an entire package. So what do we insult the Bundesliga for? It's a one-team league. And only one team pretty much says what's up, like freaking in, in the in the in the UCL. But now what would you have? It's a perfect package. Leverkusen have won the league. A team who've never won the league before. They could potentially make a Europa League final and you could potentially have two Bundesliga sides in the UCL final. This is one are of we, the biggest derbies of the Bundesliga ever. H -H, are, are we saying yeah. now that Germany can win the Euros? H H. Everyone's peaking. Every, well, every, everyone is peaking. So we're saying Jim oh, yeah. just do a clean sweep of everything. H H, I think Damn. the spark start. H H, I think the spark started with Frankfurt winning the Europa League. I think that may have contributed. I think that's when it started. Wait, isn't it like two years ago? <laughs> well, no, you can say that. You can say that. You actually say yeah, that. You can say that. Oh, that's a good point, but I'm not. Safety, safety, safety. How's no, that break? Can't do that. That's not a break. That's, that's not a break. That's not a break. That's not a break. That's not a break. Was he where, where, where is that? Where's the other um stuff that you usually do when you have a house of bricks that just drop? Where's that <laughs> well, one? But, 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 but look, my, my thing though is actually, no, um, Elijah, I should just know, sorry, before Galatia, so Ho Kage Dortmund, talk to me. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? Could, could they, could this? Could they complete one of the greatest redemptions ever for a club from what happened against the Mines at the final day last season to potentially winning UCL? Or do you think this is as far as they go? Bro, the thing is, yes, they've been different in the Champions League all season. And Hummels just dropped a back to back Champions League uh, man of the match performance mm -hmm. in the semi finals. I understand that. But from what I've seen from Dortmund all season and what I've seen from Dortmund the last 10 years, Bro, they'll be they're in the final, right? But if Mats Hummels and Schlotterbeck drop two out of ten performances, I'm gonna sit here and tell you, I, I told you so. Don't be fully so, sold. So you don't buy the hype. You, you, you don't buy the no, hype. No, I, I buy the hype, and and the thing is though, they're most likely gonna play Madrid. Maybe half a percent chance for them because, bro, Madrid don't lose finals, and I and I'm sorry that this PSG team, they. <sighs> Let's be honest. I know we I know we said Dorman, you create your own luck and this and that, but the first leg it wasn't that comfortable. I mean, Schlotterbeck and Hummels fell asleep four or five times, and Fabio Ruiz and them got in behind and missed point yeah. leg chances. Yeah. So I'm not gonna act like like yet yeah, like yes individually Hummels and them had great performances. Steady Hummels with the goal, 
they are vulnerable. And if you're going to tell me in a final, in a final with Real Madrid, that Vinny Jr. isn't going to expose anything, that Rodrigo isn't going to expose anything, that Tony Cruz won't be able to unlock the unlock the 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 Dortmund wall. I don't buy it. Like it's a bro. Oh, it's oh, 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 okay, so you do you again? I know I know what, what, what we're moving ahead, but do you believe Dortmund will face? So you feel Dortmund will face Real, not not Bayern? Yes. Yeah. Now the thing is, I I think Mike is right. They're praying for Bayern because the thing is with Bayern. It's not it, – it, they have confidence in against Bayern. I think that they just, like, three-pieced us, two-pieced us a month and a half ago in, our, in but, the Allianz Arena. Yeah, but it's a UCL final. Different. It's a UCL final. <laughs> and and, and this is it for me. See, my thing, though, is I – Dortmund are going to be underdogs in both finals regardless. I think it would be a great story if Dortmund win. And I would want them to win because that would just be an amazing story. Real Madrid – I'm not sure they beat Real Madrid. It's just as I think it'd be funny if they did. Bayern like, Munich. No, no, but see, if 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 Bayern make that final, Bayern are, Bayern are winning it. No, it's 50-50, I think. It's 50-50, bro. It's 50-50. Because it's, 50. It's, not, it's not the same. It's this is not the same Bayern from COVID. So this is this is a diff, a Bayern that has really regressed, even with Harry Kane notching 40 plus goals. Hmm. They're not. They're, we can't be so sure with Bayern. Okay, but, but but okay. How much belief do you have in this Dortmund team in a one-off game? In a, against who? Bayern or Real Madrid? Both against both in a, a one-off one game. Bro, how can you how can you say you're not hope when you know Real Madrid's UCL final record? So against Real Madrid, bro, like max five percent for me, max because it is football and anything can happen in football. But you know Real Madrid's. I just don't think Real Madrid's record ends like this against a team like Dortmund. It would be too perfect. It would be too comedic that the team that has been clowned for the last decade. No, no, but hold would, on. Would, would be life is ironic. That would what what would be what like that's. I believe that what would be so ironic is the team that Real lose to in the UCL final is Dortmund. That is just that is just irony to the nth degree. Like of course. But, most people are saying that because I think it's going to be a real Dortmund fan. It's, it's, if it's, it's real Dortmund, real should man. dunk on these guys easily. No, no, no. Yeah. It, it, it is right. It is right because here's the thing: out of all the finals that we have, have been playing, this Dortmund will probably be the weakest. Oh, for sure. Atletico. Maybe yes, because so that that final, Valencia team was really strong. good. That's that Valencia team was really strong. good. So Atletico was strong. Juve was strong. Um, Liverpool, even though it was their first time in a long time, they slapped City. The slapped Roma who knocked out um, Barca. That's a strong team. So looking at this Dortmund, this is the first time that Real Madrid will go into a final. That's if they make. Wait, 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 wait. That's not, that's not, that's not, because Gasly, I'm telling you right now. Based on just how things have gone for the Bundesliga, I don't think so. Richard. Something just tells no, 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 me that no, no. it's. I don't think fine. so. Last year, last year it was Italy, it was Syria. I, I, I just, I just, I just don't feel like this guy. Maybe Leverkusen can win the Europa League, but I, I feel like. Bundesliga has taken a dub this year, but I still I don't think any of them will win any any of the European competitions. If I'm being honest, maybe the Euros, but not the ones in the club. And it is uh, the thing that the thing that makes me reluctant is that PSG had the chances; they cut them open at times. Like Madrid, that's a and, and PSG is a banter fodder club. Yeah, we're talking about Real Madrid. We're talking about Real Madrid. Never lost a UCL final. Fourteen UCLs. Now. I don't even know. Like we have Doi in this shit, but I don't. I, that's a different word. If Dortmund beats Real Madrid in the Champions League final, I, I, I think Mike. Like they're praying. I think this is how I put it. If they go to if it's if it's Real Madrid in the final and and Dortmund lose, I would say uh, I think Dortmund fans would be like, all right. It's Real Madrid. We made it to a final. Great turnaround from where we were last year. We got the we got the fifth place Champions League. We're gonna be in the Champions League next year. Okay. I feel like if it's Bayern and they lose. I feel like they think of it as a missed opportunity because this. I know it's Bayern. I know Bayern has dunked on these guys for ten true, years. True, but it's, it's, it, it's different. It, it's different. It's it's a different Bayern. So I, I do think if it's Bayern and they do lose that, they would definitely feel like it, Dortmund fans. I don't know. AB is in the chat. That's they would feel like true. they would feel like it's a missed opportunity. I won't lie. They would, that would be a missed opportunity. Uh, okay, quick. Hold on. Let, let me come into Gatlin. Let me come to Go. Okay. First of all, for Dortmund, shout out to them because. In the groups, I thought they'll come out, but I thought they'll come second. Honestly, mm -hmm. I, I didn't think they'll they'll top the group against you know against PSV. I always knew they were going to go through. I thought they were going to get knocked out by Let's go. I, I didn't give them a chance. 
I didn't give them a chance against PSG because it's Mbappe and Dembele. And after what they did to Barcelona, I know it was 10 man tax. I still thought they were going to mess up. The fact that they are here is cool to see them. I, I, you, I, this is another example of you cannot use. And this is the reason why this is something I've been trying to tell HH since 2020, not actually 2019. Hence the reason why I brought out the receipt of I wanted Bayern because this guy was looking at Bayern in the Bundesliga and thought Chelsea can take them. But I was like, this guy has won all <laughs> teams. And this guy went to say I wanted Bayern. You cannot use league form in Champions League. You are trying to say that now, but let, let's be honest. You used to be one of those what Dortmund have done is actually sick. As for PSG and Mbappe, I'm not going to be harsh on Mbappe because... Wait, no, 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 no. We've, look, we've already passed those, those plans, so we're just focusing on the Dortmund narrative now. All right. For You see, I don't know if I'm a pessimist or a realist, but what I'm, I'm going to say, I'm not going to be an optimist because as good as what Dortmund has done, I still feel that, I'm sorry, Royce and Homo, you're not going to win a UCL. So, okay, hold on. So, you're saying on Rouse's final day of the season, he's going to hold another L. I don't think he's even going to be there. He'll probably be injured or something, like he always is. Like, no offense. <laughs> oh, God, love. God, love. Oh, oh my God. God. Let's be I'm honest. not even that mean, God, love. I'm not even that bad. Come That's on. Nice That's nice. Nice. As this guy, he has been on the bench throughout the time he's been here. Like, let's be honest. It's probably Gattler, that's just harsh. Gattler, that's just harsh. Bro. Good. Come that's on. realistic, man. Okay. He, he, he probably, he'll probably do a Ronaldo Euro final or something. Let's be honest. It's never good for that guy. No offense to him. But, no, 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 no. But, but come on. Uh, imagine what a storyline that would be if they win the UCL for, for Royce. It would be a nice storyline. But it's H, HBO Max, man. I, I've grown, I've outgrown Disney Plus. Okay. But if they do it, I'll be happy for them, but I'm not gonna be holding any flag because I, I'm I'm a realist. I, I don't think no. Nah. Oh, that's just sick, man. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Like, listen, yeah, that's messed yeah, up. Right? Up for the kids, seriously. No, 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 no. Do you know what the worst thing would be? Like, it's like um, zero zero. Like ninety eighth minute, he's he's thrown goal, beats the keeper, open goal, and gets like cramp, and then. Falls down before you put the ball in the open goal. Now that now that would be after.